Welcome back to another episode of the podcast. It's 2023. I trust you had a great Christmas, great new year. 2023, I'm feeling, is going to be a tough, but I'm kind of excited about it too. So um, who knows what 2023 is bring, bring, but what we can say is that at the beginning of 2023, everybody is talking about chat GPT. This is, if for you who have not heard, it is the AI chat bot thing. Um, I don't even know what to call it, really. But um, some of the things they've been doing with, in the OpenAI project is really interesting, not just for kind of techies, but for business owners, for uh, salespeople, for marketers, for solopreneurs, because of the incredible stuff it can do. So um, I've used DALI 2, DALI, I don't know how you say that, and that's an AI image generator. And you can type in, show me, a, a, my favorite one to do is, show me a dog wearing a hat sat on a table next to a green cocktail. And it will, a, using AI, it will generate a unique image, not steal it from the internet somewhere else. It will create it from scratch and create a completely unique image. And there's more of those. You've seen the AI uh, uh, image profile pictures that are coming out that people are sharing. So AI is on us. Um, and chat GPT is basically, it's like you can t type in anything and it will give you pretty decent information, actually. Um, so I've used it a couple of times uh, for different things that I wanted to do. And actually the results are pretty good. So what I wanted to talk about in this podcast is how you could use chat GPT to basically help you with content. I was back and forth with Neil Patel on LinkedIn the other day about chat GPT and AI copy generators, uh, over the whole, uh, thought of SEO. So, um, AI can generate blogs and articles that are keyword rich and you can churn out as many blogs as you want. So there could be a like a, a blogging or an SEO blogging arms race. In other words, everybody's producing tons of content to basically get to the top of Google. And uh, I don't want to put words in Neil's mouth, but I, I, he, he kind of said to me that all of the search engines are kind of looking for this now. They can detect it. And so they are, they don't want the world to become totally AI because if that happens, the value of the search becomes minimal. First things first, AI copy generators, content creation tools, they are useful. But if you just churn out AI content, what will happen is search engines, Google and the like may detect it and downrank you. And I'm sure social media platforms are going to do something similar because it's not in their interest to allow AI content to run riot. Why? Because if everybody starts producing AI content, everybody checks out. Everybody checks out. So the platforms themselves lose. I'm not going to go down that route. But ChatGPT, if you haven't tried it, it's so good. It's so clever. And there are some spaces where you can use it to pull together ideas. You can use it to pull together lots of different things with content. And I want to talk about the way you could use chat B GPT now. Before I do that, somebody was on social media talking about how they build their marketing plans using chat GPT. Not so sure that's a good idea, at least not right now. Um, I don't think it's clever enough. And I don't think, I think it could make you quite lazy because obviously chat GPT AI is learning from everything that's on the internet and not all of the internet is very good, but let's look at content. So how could you use chat GPT? Number one, ideas. So going into chat GPT and basically saying, what are some of the big challenges my target audience face could yield some really interesting results. So what are the common challenges business owners face with creating content? Um, you could ask questions of ChatGPT to help you uncover 
content ideas around the challenges, you know, the pains, frustrations, goals, and dreams that your target clients have. So uh, what I do is put together some questions that you would want to ask and ask those questions to chat GPT and let it give you ideas. One of the, one of the challenges we have as human beings is our limited capacity to retain information in our, in a top of mind. So there's loads of stuff that we know. There's loads of expertise that we have that we take for granted because it can't stay top of mind. There's only so much we can retain in our top of mind from, you know, short term memory. So we store loads of stuff. And then when it comes to creating content, we don't really have any ideas. We get stuck. So best thing you can do, t give me 25 content ideas for uh, renewable energy or uh, 25 content ideas about the hospitality sector and how it's struggling with a recession. And, and literally, it will generate some stuff. Will it all be perfect? No, but it will give you some content ideas. So that's really, really good way to use ChatGPT. Now, you can automate, for an example, uh, using Zapier, you can automate kind of um, a spreadsheet. You can have a spreadsheet, and when you put a question in a spreadsheet, chat gpt would uh, it would send that question to chat gpt and and zapier would collect the answers and put them in a spreadsheet for you um if you want to know how to do that that's not me <laughs> that's definitely not me that's terry terry is our kind of automation terry and alex here at maverick they are our automation make everything as as automatic as possible people but you can do stuff like that so Use it to give you the ideas, the prompts. Really, really good. The other thing you could do, and one of the great things about AI is you can tell it how long. You can give it quite specific instructions. You could say, tell me some of the most frustrating things that business owners face or problems that business owners face about marketing that um, keep them up at night. You can add lots of nuance into it. Or you could say, write me a piece of content about the frustrations business owners have about marketing with three tips that will help them and keep it under a thousand characters. And it will write that whole thing for you. So let's say for an example, you've got an idea for a post. You want it a certain length. Write me, um, write me a, t a quote or an inspiring idea for small business owners who are frustrated with marketing and are, uh, in less than 280 characters. Hint, hint. So it will come back with these and you could say, write me 10, write me 20, write me 50. It will come back with these. Now, here's the bit that's important. If you're going to use it to actually flesh out your content, so in other words, you're not just going to use it for the ideas. You're actually going to give it the ideas, give it a brief to write something. And no problem doing it. I use it sometimes. You can't just post what it does because it's a bit wishy-washy. Um, for the Americans um, uh, listening or watching to this, don't take offense but a lot, the way it talks is very wishy-washy American. I, um, I'm a grumpy Brit, right? So, so when I look at it, I'm looking for brevity, short, to the point, straightforward. Um, you know, it, its language is very American written language. So you can't just post it. Um, you want to make it your own. You want to make it more personal. So ChatGPT can actually give you an outline for a post that's almost postable, except it wouldn't sound like you. It wouldn't have your flair. It wouldn't have your personality. So that's the bit you'd have to put onto it. But it could give you the bones of a post. So if you're sat there going, I have no idea what to post, then uh, it can give you the ideas. And it can give you a flesh, a fleshed out outline that you can kind of condense, uh, take out some waffle, put your uh, spin on it, but it gives you a post. That's one of the crazy things. Now, what I have seen is that sometimes 
the content that it, you put in, it comes out in a very, very similar format. So if you give it the same brief, but change the topic, it's almost some, sometimes it feels like this was the same post that's just, they've just filled out the blanks or changed the blanks. Now it's not always the case, but it can be. Don't use it as this is the post go. That would be a mistake. And I think, I think people will spot it, so, but it will give you an outline to work on. So first one is using ideas, ask it questions. Yeah. What are the big challenges? Give me 15 post ideas. Do all of that. And these are real simple. Anybody can do it. You can go sign up and do this now. Give me 15 post ideas about the challenges with recycling and it will, it will churn them out. And then you could take that same answer and say, write me a post about this challenge, this, and it will write it. And then you take that and cannibalize it. So that's, that's, um, two really good ways you can use chat GPT. Now the big, big problem is obviously if you try and generate blogs with this search engines are going to pick up on it, but it can give you outlines, post copy, all of that stuff. Um, the other thing you could do is let's say you are writing an email or you're writing a direct message or something like that. You could put an outline into chat GPT and say, make this message more interesting and more engaging for solopreneurs and put it in and it will tidy up. You can even reference books. So I, I, I've tried this one. It's a bit tricky. What you can do is say, chat GPT, use this message, but uh, uh, rewrite this message using the copywriting methods of, of uh, Ogilvy in this book. And it will do a damn good job of applying what you put into it into a message. It's incredible. So just to grab that again. So number one, ask it questions about your ideal customers. Ask it for ideas about the topics and the pain points you talk about and you help people with, and it will spit out those ideas. You could then ask it to write you some outlines of posts, giving people the pain points, the target, giving the target audience the pain points, and it will churn out those. But you have to rewrite and reword, but it's, it's not bad. It's quite quick. And you can put all sorts of criteria. So like you were talking to me or I'm talking to you, you could do it. And then the final one that I think is really interesting, and these are all things you can do just by logging in, is give it a brief and say, I want to send this message to solopreneurs in the United States. Please rewrite this message so it is shorter, more concise, and use the uh, copywriting rules of Ogilvy in this book. And you can quote the book. You could even ask it, and I don't know how well this has worked, but you can do this, and I have seen people do this, where you can say, give me four key takeaways from this book, and it will give it to you. So you can give it instructions to say, based on uh, the book of Influence by Dr. Robert Cialdini, rewrite this message to be more compelling and to be more convincing for solopreneurs, and it will write it. So these are really incredible ways that you can use chat GPT to build your business, get more clients, grow your business, all of that stuff. And they're dead simple. Number one, just a reminder, number one, ideas, ask it questions to get, give you ideas, get it to write outlines of posts. So if it's give you an idea, ask it to write a post about it, giving three points, three actionable points won't be perfect, but it will give you something to play with, to condense and to customize. Get it to write your messages, get it to write your emails or to improve your emails. And like with anything, eat the meat and leave the bones. But ChatGPT is just incredible for the technology of what it is. It's incredible. And you can log in right now. You can use it. There's, I think there's a subscription, but the, I've not paid for a subscription. I've used it loads of times for free. Um, but I think the subscriptions for something else. So ChatGPT, 
it is the beginnings of AI. AI is going to influence the way we do business. It is going to influence the way the world works. It's not going to take over the world. It's not going to replace humans in a lot of ways. It will get rid of a lot of things in some senses. But ChatGPT, OpenAI, is a brilliant tool that you should go try. Number one, use it for ideas. Number two, use it to create outlines. And number three, use it to help you improve your messaging uh, and your email scripts that you're going to use to outreach to prospects. So go do it. Go try it. I'd love to hear how you get on with it. Come, uh, Drop me a message. Find me on one of my socials. Let me know how it works for you. And, and give it a go. Give it a go. Chat GPT. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, go give it a try. And uh, I'll see you on the next edition of the podcast.